On behalf of Otis for Peace and Artsy, I welcome you all to Event Horizon, an interstellar artistic event made possible by the ever generous Dine of the Arts, Hannah Thierney. We are thrilled to perform today in this artistically profound space that has imbibed the aura of generations of art that have passed through its walls. As we gather today here in peace, the world over is ravaged by wars. Let's take a moment to mourn the loss of humans and of humanity. Technology brought the world its arms. Only art can bring it peace. I cannot find better words to describe artists for peace than those of our beloved co-founder and director, Joel Thome. What can we as artists do to make this a livable world for all children, our neighbors, for all life forms with whom we share Mother Earth? Or are we content to just stand aside, busy in our personal pursuits, and watch our lives, our planet, decay further into an abyss of war, hatred, inhumanity, starvation, and desolation? The answer of our collective is no. We shall not stand by without contributing in some way or form to bring a collective consciousness together to build bridges of love, to hold hands, and make this a better world for generations to come. Artists for Peace, a collective of kindred artistic souls, seeks to channel our creativity, ideas, and imagination for common causes that make a difference. I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce Artsy. Artsy is an all-inclusive, artist-inspired platform for artists of every genre, every domain, and every level. We believe there's an artist in every one of you that should be nurtured and celebrated. For it is art that elevates us beyond the mundane. It is art that connects a collective consciousness as a creator and created become one. Whether you are an established artist, someone dabbling in the arts, or you're juggling two jobs trying to keep the artist in you alive because there's no other way, artsy is for you. Our mission is to form a community of artists for the world over to level the playing field with Joel Thome, the Grammy Award winner, Ayapa Nair, who is cycling across the coast of Kerala, capturing uh, scenes along the way of lighthouses, or Aboriginal communities in New Mexico and in Ecuador. We want to bring them all together on one platform. We have built a robust platform where you can showcase your art with a free and easy to make portfolio, Message other artists, collaborate, blog, form groups, and hubs in a world far, far away from the quirky algorithms and noise of current social media platforms. Artsy is an exclusive by invitation only world for art and artists. If you are an artist of any level or form, and we have established that every one of you is an artist, so no excuses, Artsy is for you. Please reach out to us. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the program. We start today with Joel and Phil. Thank you.
sockets and the cold froze his shoulders seasons passed 
Ants crawled. Bees buzzed. Spiders spun. And he sat on, oblivious. No water entered those lips. No food touched that belly. He hesitated nirvana, everyone said, staring at him in awe. They filed past him in reverence that he never saw. They offered him food that he never ate. They adorned his seat with flowers that he never smelled. They chanted his praise that he never heard. They sought his blessings that he never gave. He has attained nirvana, everyone said. He is beyond hunger, thirst, and greed, they said. No sorrow, no joy, no emotion could move him, they claimed. He is in the ultimate state, they said, that for which one needs to do penance for years. End your hunger and thirst for eons until they fade away. Forget family, forego love, shun hate, and ignore greed until one finds that inner peace. It takes a great deal of introspection, everyone said. It takes devotion and deep thinking. He is one that has gone beyond the need for food, for water, for love, for plain laughter. He has attained the state of nirvana. Everyone said, he has carved thousands of religions, hundreds of God, put up with the mirth of agnostic sin, philosophical thoughts. He is now so unmoved, so still, so beyond food, thirst, Love, plain laughter, much like the pebble at his foot. The pebble at his foot. The pebble at his foot had been lying there for years, no one said. They didn't file past it in reverence. They never brought it food. They never chanted its praise. Years passed. Ants danced on it. Wines crept on it. Spiders spun, bees buzzed, the pebble lay still. It is beyond hunger, thirst, and greed, no one said. No sorrow, no joy, no emotion could move it, no one claimed. The pebble must have done penance for years, scouring thousands of religions, hundreds of God, putting up with the mirth of agnostics and philosophical thoughts, no one said. It must have been a seeker for years. End your hunger and thirst for eons before they fade away. No one said. The pebble must be in a state of nirvana. No one said. The lofty hermit and the humble pebble are but in the same state. No one said.
thinking that it's, it's a very good chance for us, or for me, for us three, for offerings. So I brought two objects that I offer to the earth and to all of you. I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna, and you can pass it along each other. And this is how we're gonna turn on the lights.
Thank you again. Bye. Thank you.